Okay, in this video, I'm going to look at break even charts. It's um, the second video on break even charts. The first one is an introduction. This one is I'm going to do the uh, 2016 exam question on it. I'm going to show you how to make this easy for yourselves. First of all, uh, make sure you write down all your information. Now, you are producing at 60,000 units. Um, that's going to be important when we're doing our chart. You're selling them for 30. Now, remember, selling is the money that you're bringing in, it's your revenue, it's not your profit. Your fixed costs are 400,000. So even if you make zero units, that would be 400,000. And your variable costs like your labor and raw materials. That's going to keep changing depending on how many units you make. Okay, step one, always calculate your break-even point. Now again, you cannot do this unless you know your formula. So that actually has to be learned. Uh, so it's your fixed costs all over selling price minus variable costs. And we get 40,000 units. Now again, when we're going to be doing our graph, those units are going to be important. Likewise, these units are important for doing our graph. Uh, always calculate your margin safety. You're not going to be asked to calculate this. You're going to be asked to show it on the diagram. I want my students to calculate it just so they know where to go. So the for format again is production minus break even point. Your current level of production is 60. Your break even point is 40. So your margin of safety, but we're going to look at it on the diagram there in a few minutes. Your answer should be 20,000 units. Okay, your table. Now how to work your table. Uh, make sure you're going to get units here. How do you know what units you use? You always use zero, you use a break-even point, and you use your current level of production. So zero, 40,000, and 60,000. I need you to calculate your total cost. I'm just going to put a line down through here, just so they stand out a little bit. And your total revenue. Now your total cost, remember, is made up of two things. It's made up of your fixed, which will always be there, of 400,000, plus your variable, which is going to vary depending on your output. Now just to go through again where the variable come from. The variable is 20 euro per unit. So 20 by 0 is 0. 20 by 40 is 800. And 20 by 60 is 1.2 million. Okay. Now you want, we're not drawing either of these curves, we're drawing them combined. So you're drawing your total cost curve and here's your units. Okay, your total revenue, again I'll just put in maybe in black. You are selling these for 30 euro so that means if you don't make anything you can't sell anything so that's zero if you make 40,000 selling them at 30 each that will make you 1.2 million and we said 40 grand was my break even point so these two here should equal if not you've gone wrong and number three 60,000 units selling them at 30 euro each will get you 1.8 million so again just very quickly looking at the profit Scenario one, you're making a loss, you're breaking even, and you're starting to make it work into a profit. Don't worry about the black there or that blue there, that's for the second part. Okay, when you're doing your graph, and this is where a lot of the marks are going to be given in the exam, you need your heading, and you need to put in your headings on both your axes. Now, the title um, in this particular year gave you one mark, one mark for this, and one mark here. So without even doing anything else, that you've got your three marks. I would always start, first of all, by drawing your total or your fixed cost curve. And we went through it in the last uh, video. It's a horizontal curve and it's always the same regardless of what I put. Second curve I would draw, again, you can draw this whichever way you want, is a total cost curve. So we know at zero units, the only cost you will have is the fixed cost. At 40,000 units, your cost is 1.2 million, which is up here. And at 60,000 units, your cost is 1.6 million, which is roughly there. Again, you should be able to do that a lot um, neater than I could do it on the board here. Now, your total revenue. Remember, if you don't make anything, you can't sell anything. So your revenue starts off at zero. At 40,000 units, we know that they should equal because that's where we're breaking even. And then at 60,000 units, our total revenue is 1.8, which is roughly up there. Now, excuse me for my graphs and my lines aren't going to be that straight and that great to draw on the board. Okay, now the question said, nearly finished the question, 
it specifically said, can you illustrate? Now, it doesn't matter what question you're doing. Illustrate means you have to show it on a diagram. Now, before we move on, I just want to give you um, the marking scheme for this. So, this was two marks, getting that right, four marks, and four marks. So, quite a lot of marks there. And then I wanted you to show the break even point. Good idea normally, I'd say use different colours, but because part C of this question is asking you to make alterations to that diagram, I try to keep the same colour so it doesn't look as messy. Now, your break even point we know is here, so I want you to show it on the graph. So, Now I'm going to label that as point A, and down here you want to write for the examiner, A is your break-even point, which occurs at uh, 1.2 million and at 40,000 units. Okay, part B, I, I'm not sure whether it's margin of safety or uh, profit full capacity, I'm going to do margin of safety. Now remember what margin of safety is, it's where you're producing minus your break-even point in units. So this is where I'm producing at 60. This is my break-even point. So from here to here is point B, and that's my margin of safety. I look at it, it should be 20,000 units. The difference between these two is 20, and that's what we said it was up here. So margin of safety is 20,000 units. Just in case they ask in the exam, this be more for accountancy, they could throw it in for the business, they might ask, can you give your margin of safety in units, like we did here, and in revenue? So remember, revenue is your selling price. So you multiply that by 30 euro, and we'd end up with 600,000. Just it could be something that they might add into the exam. And part C, they'll ask you, what is your profit at the capacity of 60,000? Now let's look here. At 60,000, we know our cost of 1.6. Our revenue is 1.8 and we know we should be showing a profit of 200,000. So we have to show it on the diagrams. Illustrate means you can't do it from there, you have to do it on the diagrams. So again, we're going to have a look at here. What happens at 60,000? Now the total cost, we can see is 1.6. And the total revenue is 1.8. So the profit from here to here is C, the difference between the two of them is 200,000. So C is equal to profit at, uh, what was it, 67 units? 60,000 units. And you would be making uh, 200,000, is it? The 20 units ago, sorry, 200,000. That's it for 20 marks in your exam. Now just to show you the uh, where these will be, this is four marks, four, and four. Okay. Um, so again, if you follow the steps, it's not too difficult, and you need plenty. It's like maths. You need plenty of practice in this. Now, in part C, this is the first time I kind of threw in part C and asking you to change something. They want you to change this, and they said let's change this, and let that variable cost be ten euro. So let's see what would happen then. Well, the first thing is. You're going to have to redo your break even point by putting in 10 euro. So your new break even point is 20,000. They said 60,000 didn't change, fixed cost didn't change, and everything else did the same. So what we're going to do down here is do our new uh, chart for 0, 20, and 60. Okay, so again, for 0 units, we know that your total cost will be 400. We know that you can't. Sell anything during the last 400,000. This time, uh, your break even point, we're not using 40,000, we're using the new break even point, which is 20,000. And we're saying this time your break, uh, our break even point will be at 600,000, and 600,000 for revenue will be taken in, and therefore we're even. And this time at 60 grand, uh, we'd end up making a profit of 800. So look at the difference, right? Here we're making a profit of 200. Because we changed our variable cost slightly, got a better deal or whatever, this has jumped up to 800 our profit. Now the question says, calculate a new break-even point. Now it just said calculate it, so that's it there, calculate it, okay? And it says illustrate how the decrease in variable cost will affect the total cost line. 
So it's only asking you to move the total cost line. Why is it not asking you to move the total revenue line? I don't know. I don't think it's asking you to move the total revenue line. No, it's only asking you to move the total cost curve, which is a bit unusual, but anyway, we'll just move the total cost curve. So you start again from scratch, as if you're drawing a new line. So zero is at 400, the very same. 20 is at 600, which is roughly here. And 60 is at 1 million. So try to get this right, it'd be roughly about there. So what would happen is, your total cost curve would be lower. Now you'd expect your total cost curve to be lower because remember, your variable cost is split in half. So you would expect this curve to jump down. What effect is that having? Let's look, this is where uh, your total revenue curve is meeting your total cost curve and it's basically meeting it at where the 20,000. Okay, now I know my diagram is slightly low. If you want to look at this online to get it perfect, okay? Um, so again, it says, can you, you just have to draw the total cost, uh, cost curve and show your new break-even point, okay? Okay, sorry, I just paused that just to draw, try to draw that a little bit more correctly for you. So again, where does your total cost and total revenue curve hit? The hit here, which we said over here, will be at 600,000. Uh, euro at 20,000. So just write that down for the examiner as well. Uh, say point A2 is equal to your new break even point, and the new break even point is at 600,000 at 20,000 units. And that's your question, John. I think actually that was quite difficult uh, to draw that accurately. But again, there's many marks that's going for the new one. Just have a look at this here for you. Um, there's actually a lot. They're so giving five marks for that drawn and five marks for locating that there. Uh, your new break even point was two. Forgetting that and calculating it was five. Um, yeah, it was quite difficult. But again, if you're drawing that on your uh, graph paper, take up the full page. Okay, it's much easier, spread your work quite well, uh, give yourself loads of um, markings on the axis and you'll be able to do it a lot more accurately. Okay, so that's the 2016 break-even chart.